issue of sustainability in, in, in Asian cuisine and with Asian chefs has come to the fore much more in the last few years because if you speak to the chefs now, you know, the, particularly the Chinese chefs, um, the Asian chefs, even the Thai chefs and things like that, they are much more concerned about um, the freshness of the ingredients, the sauce, they, they talk about you know, where, where it comes from, the farmers they work with. Sustainability is becoming increasingly more important for I think many, many cooks uh, as they, they realise that their industry is, is partially responsible for the depletion of uh, world stocks a huge growing awareness in sustainability. It, it's not as prevalent as what it is in Western countries, certainly not in, in Australia or Europe or America, but it's coming here and I think that Thailand is a fantastic example of, of where it could be in a few years. Sustainability at Gagan, especially being in Bangkok, is a big challenge because the awareness of organics, the awareness of, of things farm produce, small producers is very new but it is something that we have to work upon. It's something that we really need to educate the people and it's something that we are working on. To make sure that our restaurant, not only food, is sustainable because every activities that happen in the restaurant create some things um, and leave something for this world. So basically we make sure that everything or most of the thing that we get in is organic practices, mm -hmm. is sustainable practices from the farmer's point of view, from the logistic point of view and from our restaurant point of view. It was probably less fashionable a certain time ago. I, I just regret that the term sustainability became so fashionable that I, I, I don't like to market myself through that term so I generally don't talk so much about it. But as a duty, we always source the best product to the best suppliers. That's, that's the duty of every good restaurant. Sustainability is a difficult topic for Singapore because it's a city-state and it, it imports the majority of foodstuffs come from other countries. And so it's difficult for them to be sustainable, but in the same token, Malaysia is just a stone's throw away and it is a very productive country. If I choose to use a vegetable in my, in my dessert, um, it's difficult, it's, it's not as easy and if I were to be based in another city in Asia or in the US, I think it would be, it would be easier. We are uh, very careful and really uh, concerned about the footprint. Um, so that's why since, um, uh, since this year, beginning of this year, we started our own farm. Uh, we work since we arrived in Singapore, I work with a local chicken farmer. Um, and we start to change the diet of the chicken. And they know that the, the, the quality of the chicken can sell at a better price. In, in Singapore, there was a, a report in the papers a few days ago about the fact that, you know, shark fin consumption has plunged in Singapore so much so that I think wholesale prices of, of uh, shark fin have halved. So that's enormous progress, you know. If you want to be uh, a restaurant of any repute, you have to uh, know exactly where all your food comes from. Uh, we don't preach, but at the same time, uh, it should be expected nowadays that especially uh, seafood um, sustainability is incredibly important. There's certain fishes that will not end up on my menu because they're not um, socially accepted to be served. Um, there's certain fishes that I would not serve in certain season because that is their reproduction season. So, in able to sustain the species, we would not use that fish in that season. And, and we continue to be uh, uh, working in that direction. We, we even looking into working with vegetable growers in new territory and introducing certain needs that we have as a restaurant to make sure that we reduce our carbon footprint of onions being shipped from Europe. Something that is quite a bit more challenging for a city like Hong Kong where we have very limited access to you know farmers and producers but I think that's ultimately you know diners, customers, they want to know where the food's coming from. People are starting to think about this sort of stuff but it's still a few years away from actually maturing. People should not see sustainability as a trend. They should see it as a way to go. It's, it's the only way to go because at the end of the day, if we want to keep eating that, if we want to keep eating full stop, 
we need to look at where our food comes from and how it's sourced and how it's produced and how it's done. And for that to happen, we need to all eat sustainably, whether it be in a restaurant or at home.